Not only is the Galaxy Watch 3 the best Android smartwatch, it's the best smartwatch you can buy full stop. It's packed with features, and is available in two sizes to suit different sized wrists. We love the return of the physical rotating bezel, that you don't find on the Galaxy Watch Active range. It makes sipping through the circular menus of Samsung's Tizen software a tackle pleasure. The Watch 3 marries excellent modern design with top-tier fitness features like GPS and multi-sport tracking. A slight downside is that it's a distinctly one-day battery watch, but then again so is the Apple Watch Series 5. But the Watch 3 more than makes up for it with excellent software, all the fitness functions you could want, and A Fitbit Versa 3 is a superb smartwatch, especially if your focus is more on fitness than general smart features. It has GPS, SPO2 monitoring, 24-7 activity and heart rate tracking, guided breathing exercises, and numerous workout modes. Shell Alpha the Fitbit Premium subscription service, and you'll also get access to a health metrics dashboard, which lets you dive even deeper into your health and fitness stats. There are other highlights beyond the fitness side though, with the Fitbit Versa 3 sporting a bright, crisp, and clear mold screen, plus up to 6 days of battery life. It's not a huge upgrade on the Versa 2, its smartwatch features are slightly limited, and to make the most of its fitness, tools you need a subscription on top of the already pricey Hey, my name is Roy Choi. I'm an entrepreneur. The Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 is sold alongside the original Watch Active, but we prefer this newer model, thanks to an updated design, great battery life, and a digital touch bezel which was sorely missing before. The Active branding means this is a smartwatch more suitable for workouts and fitness tracking, compared to the regular Galaxy Watch, reflected in the great onboard coaching suggestions and reminders to move to reach your set goals. It's waterproof, suitable for running, swimming and cycling among other activities, handles notifications, six miles a day it bumps my wrist and says you can do it you know talks to me you know when you don't have many friends like your watch talks to you like oh you know, it's pretty cool galaxy watch active 2's best design is the is the fact that it's simple slim and powerful just like me wearing this watch since the first edition what's happened is they've slimmed everything down they've made the band a lot more interchangeable i can move from like nighttime to work time to fancy to everyday um, again they got rid of the bezel now the bezel is all sensory uh, you can change the watch face um, and customize it to your own so i mean it just keeps getting better every single rendition i run i run five businesses off my watch and my phone yeah i just don't need anything else and then i i don't try to flex like I, you know with this huge office with all this stuff just keep it real tight and then everything else you should use that time for creativity Fitbit makes several smartwatches, but the cheapest of the bunch is the Versa Lite. Despite its price though it's still a great Android watch pick, thanks to a raft of features. While it lacks built-in GPS, you can connect it to your phone to record run routes, and there's all the sport tracking features you'll find on the Versa 2 or Ionic. The battery life is first class and will last around 5 days, even with steady use, and the unit itself is slim and light, so it's easy to wear it to bed for the sleep tracking features. It lacks NFC so you can't use Fitbit Pay. This is the first watch of many in this list that comes with Wear OS software on board. 
It's the Fossil Sport, and it's arguably one of the first watches from a company that can keep pace with the likes of the Samsung Galaxy Watch and Apple Watch. It's lightweight, so it's comfortable for a variety of exercises, and it's built with fitness in mind with GPS and an accurate heart rate monitor included. Despite its sporty focus the design still feels premium, and it's one of the most powerful devices on this list, as it comes with the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 3100 chipset inside. That's not in a lot of other Wear OS watches yet, and we found it noticeably slicker than some other choices. The TicWatch Pro 3 is a good all-rounder that doesn't necessarily excel in any one area. But it doesn't need to, because it's also cheaper than top-end rivals. And it does have a lot going for it. For one thing, it was the first smartwatch to use the top-end Snapdragon 4100 chipset, so performance is good. It also offers 2-3 to three days of battery life, or, if you switch it to essential mode, it can keep going for up to 45 days. The TicWatch Pro 3 also has a good screen 1.4-inch 454x454 one that's crisp, bright, and responsive, plus the watch has all the typical health and fitness Now it's time for one of the cheapest devices on this list, and it comes from Chinese manufacturer Mobboy. The TicWatch E2 isn't a huge improvement on the first-gen watch, but it offers some fantastic features considering its price. We really like the two-day battery life, and the fact you can get all of the features of Wear OS on a watch for this low a price. It's quite an impressive feat, and that's why it ranks so highly in our best Android watch list. There's no NFC, so no Google Pay, but we can forgive that at the